So we're out here looking for jobs and whatnot, and somebody is in far away northern Nigeria being self employed and making 10 million there. Like, what are we doing with our lives? Hi guys, so we are in Joe City, obviously. Don't mind me, I'm just awkward. Mike. Turn it on. So okay. we're currently doing the mic check for the. Oh my god, the live room. Yeah, I'm just here. Yeah. 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 For yeah. the podcast. Okay. I think I'll mention everybody's name later on because right now I am dumbfounded. You want to I came to 30 room? minutes late no, 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 already. No, you are late. Yeah. I came early. He told me one o'clock. No, I we changed get out. I told he you told me one. Like, no, wow. he told me one, then wow. he didn't inform me. Wow. And I called as a dutiful guest <laughs> to say, yo, is this still happening? Only for Uncle, 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 Uncle to not tell me that it's three o'clock. Do you inform you guys about the changing time? The um, day before. I'm kind of busy, but I'm not taking time. Uh-huh. No wonder. Because well, I was I like, I'm with my dad. I'm sorry, my guys. <laughs> so my my, my lateness has been forgiven. No, I didn't say I forgive you. She will buy me shawarma. No, I won't. <laughs> Okay, if you're ready, you Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Awun Kenneth. And if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe so that you can get notifications anytime I post a video here. And now I'm going for like one video a day for this particular week. I missed out on yesterday, but nonetheless, we are here working. So today's video, I, I kind of did good today. I, I went out to be honest and not that it's not like I don't go out but I went out today and I like recorded a snippet of what happened. So I was lucky to be invited for a podcast. My friend Joey had has a podcast that he does, Joey Off Air, and I was part of the exclusive members. You know, I'm just saying, I'm I'm bragging though, bro. <laughs> I'm just joking. So we talked about like Bolt and Max Air B being in Jaws. So Bolt is a car healing service, and Max Air is an airline. So about two big transport companies um, coming to the city of Jaws Plateau State and the impact and the criticisms and whatever. So we just shared our views there. If it's on, I would edit the description of this video and put in the link for you guys to watch. But by the time this video is coming out, I don't think it will be out yet because it's coming out today. So yeah, that was it. It was quite, it was quite an interesting podcast because we just talked about like the mentality of people who live in Jaws. So people here are much more relaxed and we, we do not spend money here. Like people, people here are just relaxed, like easy going. There's no hustle and bustle like you get in Lagos or Abuja. That fastness, that quickness is not here. It's a little bit slow here but not too slow and it also has to do with the fact that things are a lot cheaper here like transport is way cheap an average day in lagos in terms of transport could set you 1000 naira but here with 500 naira 300 naira you're good to go because most of the times your house is close to where you're staying house rent is cheap food is cheap you can even farm where you eat the average platinum man here has a family house to stay like for example i'm staying my dad's house i'm not renting so yeah, like living um, expenses are kind of like subsidized by either by family or by the environment here where you could rent a self-contained for like 100k, 150 as against in Lagos where you have to rent the boys quarters for like 600, 400 if you're staying on the island and a lot more higher when you go to, down to the mainland, right? Okay. So that was that about it. But for today's video, I want to talk about this farmer that made 10 million naira, right? Like, guys, okay, hold up. So we're out here looking for jobs and whatnot, and somebody is in far away northern Nigeria being self employed and making 10 million naira. Like, what are we doing with our lives? So today's video, I want to talk about like this farmer I saw on Twitter, on this Twitter sphere. And I was like, it would be a very good video concept. So the title of the tweet goes like this. How I made 10 million naira without owning a company or product fresh out of Caritas Uni Enugu State. I started trading cattle. I found myself in Gumel. That's um, the border between Nigeria and Niger. Castina Ma Me Gathari Katagung Azeri 
first kum and she went down about the storyline of how she we load a 16 tire truck with 34 cows and from northern nigeria to Port Harcourt, Bayosha and delta states it was in 2012 where a politician just won and were given um cows as gifts to their party chairmen and she sold about 275 cows that year i think in 2012 with about 19 of them dying so after paying everyone she counted her money and that is how she got rich like 10 million so it just like i just want to talk about this because of like the agricultural business in nigeria and there have been a lot of talk about like even the african development bank has been talking a lot about how the potential in agriculture is massive and it can contain a lot of us in terms of like growth and it's so unfortunate that we have um good startups that are trying to work in that space but a lot of them are bringing negative feedbacks or the economy or the ecosphere or wherever it's not just having that trustworthy environment for a lot of people to participate in like looking at what is happening with tribe agric is really just a shame that such a thing is happening to this viable sector and um, to such a company in this viable sector so i pray traffic drive agric sort that out but i'll also do a video explaining a lot more on that but with that said I also want to read a tweet again from this particular lady. Um, she said, uh, "If I, um, she talked to Dangote, and Dangote gave her a good advice that changed her life. He said, "To be rich, to be a rich person, you must find a product or service to sell every day." He said, "If I made hundred thousand naira a day in profit at the end of the year, I would have." 35 million there. So she started looking for product to sell daily and from there she expanded her business into eggs, catfish, broilers, cockerel, goats and 10 hectares of land. So she had to dis um, discipline herself and make much more, will I say, impact and investments in other sectors in order to, will I say, raise her daily income as of that time. And it also brings to discussion that I was having with some of my friends in terms of like social media and focus because it's like we all know what to do at one point in our lives. Like we all know we need to wake up early. We all know we need to like talk to this person, talk to that person, send that proposal, tell people about what you're doing. Like we all know the basics, right? I mean, we might have read a motivational book, a self-help book, watched a motivational film. So we have basic ideas, like we grab the concept. But the problem now is having the dedication to sit down one place and do what you are talking about. For example, just like this YouTube channel, right? If I'm able to harness a lot more focus and consistency be where I want to go with this channel, like the growth might not be fast, but the growth will be there surely at the end of the day, especially if my content and if my content gives value to people like you who are watching this channel, all right? It got me really thinking like, there are a lot of things that we see and we just neglect. Like a lot of us are just focused on getting that job that pays us $1,000 a month. Like let's just have that job, that white collar job and we're done with it. But meanwhile, like there are a lot of things that we could do that we look down on. Like for example, the cattle business. Um, I think every kid in Nigeria is kind of like familiar with it because at one point in your life, if you're not um, homeschooled or like locked up in the house for your protection, <laughs> you know, you might have seen cattle on the road and you might have seen Fulani men with your cattle, right? But a lot of people, a lot of us look down on those kind of businesses forget, and also we forget that a cow is very expensive. So one cow can go around like, you can end up selling one cow, a matured cow for 80 something thousand there, which is um, like, let's say $300 or $400 there about, right? Then multiply it by, let's say, 100 cows, you know? So... There's actually money in these businesses that we look down on. Like, for example, Mama Poots business, like a food business. A lot of people look down on it. Even like the normal keke tricycle um, riders, the keke na pep, like we call them here in Nigeria. A lot of them, if they are able to like have a structure system that tells them how much they earn and negates their expenses and profits, right? A lot of them will not believe how much they are making 
on a monthly basis they might be they can be making a lot more money than people who work in the bank like at the cashier level like let's say entry banking level so 70k per month kind of jobs federal government jobs that pay 70k banking jobs also pay 70k a kicking up a driver could make that right but he has to put in a lot of energy and work and his work ethic has to be uptight right but a banker will just go to the office count the money uh make sure he goes there early look all smart speak his english you know and feel much more he's more important than a driver so this this just really got me thinking because i'm like wow i could also do this business you know like i could get involved some way so it actually sparks ideas and it's just it got it really got me thinking about like what we can do in terms of like business and growth because i'm all about growth i really want to grow like someone said suffering is not sweet i don't know was it was it ever sweet <laughs> you know so um yeah in the spirit of all growth and yeah i just thought i should share this with um each and every one of you here on the channel watching and subscribing yeah so see my next one this is the content i have for you guys stay safe